Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. And thank you to all the people that sent info on this topic. If you haven't seen the recent headlines, here they are. God is neither male or female. Church of England is considering gender-neutral terms. Some will argue and say God is spirit and spirits don't have gender, regardless of the fact that God is always addressed in male terms. But it gets worse. How about our non-gendered parent who are in heaven? Priests could stop using male pronouns, he and him, when referring to God in prayers and drop the phrase, our father, from the Lord's prayer. That's right. Bishops announced they are launching a major project on gendered language. This is being labeled as simply breaking with centuries of tradition. How we address God has nothing to do with tradition. He is God Almighty, period. This fella says that they've been exploring the use of gendered language in relation to God for several years. Why? This quote-unquote reverend says that some clergy want to refer to God without saying he or him, particularly in prayers of forgiveness for sins. Once again, why? I'll tell you why. Because they are allowing non-binary people to be priests. Bingo Allison says that God loves variety and it makes perfect sense that people are finding new ways of understanding gender. Sure, God loves variety of different animals, kinds of fish and birds, fruits and vegetables, and all the different shapes, colors, and flavors he created. But Genesis 5-2 tells us that God created humans as male and female. Full stop. Bingo blames this on a strongly religious household that taught that being part of the alphabet community was sinful, and mom and dad were right according to God's word. Bingo says that they experienced an epiphany about this seven years ago. I got news for you, that wasn't an epiphany. That was a whisper from the devil, just like he whispered to Eve. And here we have Bingo telling this story just one month ago, and 49 thumbs up. And just a day ago, this archbishop suggested that offering prayers of blessings for those in same-sex relationships is just a development of doctrine. And this fella says that they want to celebrate the faithfulness of these couples that God considers an abomination. Folks, when a church or anybody that claims to be a follower of Jesus Christ compromises what God calls evil and says that it's okay, then you are not serving God. You are committing idolatry and creating a God that you feel more comfortable with. Isaiah 5.20 is exactly what's happening here with people calling evil good, putting darkness for light, and bitter for sweet. Matthew 24 tells us that it will be like the days of Noah when Jesus returns. Even in Luke 17, we're told the same thing about the days of Noah and the days of Lot as well. And those were days of debauchery for sure. And we are seeing the same thing today. The only good news is that this means Christ's return is getting even closer. So we'll finish off with Revelation 18.4 that says, Come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins or receive any of her plagues. And with that being said, feel free to leave your comments below. And until next time, take care. And God bless.